Hey, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we'll be making my chicken noodle soup. Um, like I said in my last video before, I like to uh, extract the flavor out of the bones that I, the bone from um, my, my chicken thighs. So that's what we'll be doing today. And um, I love ramen, I love Vietnamese pho, I love hot pot. Um, I take all those influences and I, and I put it with the ingredients readily available here and put it together and I guarantee you this will be the best chicken noodle soup you'll ever have in this house. So basically the chicken noodle soup is, I'm just clearing out the fridge, it's Monday and we've got leftovers from Kauai that we, well Sunday lunch that we want to use up. So if you look down here, got chicken, leftover chicken that I'm going to shred up. Um, I've got some uh, bok choy and I have to use up. This character starting to look sad. Peel them up and uh, grate them. Um, I bought this three days ago. have to use it today. And uh, some coriander. Uh, it's been okay because it's been in the plastic. And um, ginger, a couple of onions, fish sauce, cinnamon stick. Um, this is the secret weapon over here. Uh, because I use um, because I use bones, uh, this saves me probably about eight hours of uh, extracting um, all the flavor out of those uh, chicken bones that I, I, I use. So a tablespoon of this stuff, magic, and uh, about a tablespoon of sugar in it, and I've got some rice wine here that we um, that we help in the first boil to clean the um, I'll get that freezer, that freezer burn kind of taste if you just um, boil the bone straight off. This costs about nine bucks, and as you can see, they're really portioned out. Super easy to use, super delicious. That, uh, that fur kind of um, texture, man. So good. Um, and these, our chicken bones that I picked up yesterday for Sunday lunch for our roast chicken. Boil it up, extract all the flavor out of that, and that's gonna be the base of our soup. There's a cleaning process to um, getting that freezer, that freezer burn taste out of the bones. So you boil it for 10 minutes first uh, with rice wine, ginger, and onion, and then um, pour all of that out, then boil it, and then you can extract the flavor and it's mwah, delish. Let's go do it. Okay. So I'm first boil with our chicken bones. Onion and ginger. Boiling water. Okay. Let that boil about 10 to 12 minutes. Pour it out, it should taste nice. This is why I'll never be a professional cook. I hate doing this. Oh, this is so boring. Oh, you hate cooking? Or you hate wood, what, gravy? Yeah, this um, over and over stuff. Oh, lucky the kids went to uh, the park. That'll get them to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this onion and ginger and I'm kinda, I'm gonna kinda burn it on the uh, element. Extracts a nice smoky flavor to your soup. Just pull this off the element so it should look like that. Nice smoky flavor going to the soup. Beautiful. Okay, we've got our bones. They've already gone for a first boil. We've got our onions um, smoked up on the element and our ginger. I'm gonna go on with some boiled water 
make it quick. Cinnamon stick. How much water? Oh man, I want. So I've got two liters in there. But I'm going to top it up a bit after. So Maybe you can, about. You can give as much water as you want, and these ingredients are fine. With these measurements. Yep. Fish sauce, you adjust the taste, that's about three tablespoons fish sauce. Cool, so I'm going to add in about four to five liters of water. Cool. Okay, while I'm pulling this in, let me explain why I grate the carrots and cut the bok choy so small. So when I, I, I top the noodles, these veggies should cook instantly when the hot broth touches the raw veggie. So I, I'm not throwing this in the soup. Throw it on top of the noodles. Uh, you'll see. That's why I cut it so small and grate the veggies so small. Okay, with um, our soup, we'll have some dumplings. I'm going to line up these bamboo steamers and put some baking paper in there. Stop the dumplings from sticking. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've lined up the uh, bamboo steamers. This is the one I did. <laughs> this is the one my wife did. <laughs> I think mine's better. It's not curry. Much. <laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> so look, um, any kind of scum that comes up, I already just um, did the surface right now. I forgot to uh, film it, but any stuff that looks like that, take it off the surface of the soup and keep it nice, clear and clean. Okay, we're gonna have uh, dumplings uh, as a side for our soup. Dumplings I'm gonna make are these instant ones right here. They're it's very nice, it's eh? It's upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so yeah, this brand, man, they are so tasty. You know, it's real pork, real, it's real meat and that it's it's like we made it ourselves, uh, and we've, we've made them before, but it's so tedious, you know, if you, have, if you haven't got the time to uh, muck around with one dumpling, two, three, four, in an hour, buy this brand. They're, they're not a sponsor or anything. But, and, uh, and they're on special. They're on special at uh, Pick and Save right now. Mm, Gotta try them out. That's why we bought them really, because they're the cheapest ones there. And they just ended up being good quality. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. So, and have these long side. I'm going to make a, um, I'll tell you what I am going to do, is I'm going to make the, the nicest dipping sauce to go along with it. It's, um, I've made a few dipping sauces in my life and to, to be honest, I've never had all those ingredients along with me at the same time. So the dipping sauce I'll show you today will be, um, with ingredients that are readily available, stuff that I keep, you know, usually in the house and easy, easy access to. There right, shall I say, does it look? Shall I say? Mm. I, I, I arrange them this way, not only does it look nice, but um, you get heaps in. You can fit a lot in at, at one time. While still having space and cook even. Oh, do you not put them on the holes? You broke up the steam. <laughs> Jokes. I should have cut the hole smaller then so you can fit more in eh? it. That's right. There's um, mm -hmm. ice water in there. Was there um, the, the other two train properly? Yeah. Nice thing. Last did 50 shots, they were like really close to the deep so he had to do an extra 20 burpees. Oh, he did burpees? Oh, cool. How about Tana? Well, she did a lot of shots, and then she started doing London Bridge, you know, some kind of exercise, squats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're called, um, was it ex explosives? Yeah. Where you squat and then you jump up or something, eh? Lots of training in 
planks. Planks, wow. It's cool. Hey, pretty. Not your hand. <laughs> it's not about pretty. Efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> There you go guys, 24 pieces. Two levels. On a pot. Boiling water. Yum. Dumplings on top. Put a lid on it. And that's us for about half an hour. Half an hour to 45 minutes. Oh, we'll check them out in half an hour. Okay, for our dumplings, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make two dipping sauces. One spicy, one non-spicy. One that the kids like. Uh, but yeah, I'll make an adult one for uh, wifey and I, uh, straight after. So it's gonna, it's gonna take these ingredients right here. And with dipping sauces, these are ingredients I have at my house most of the time. Um, I've made dipping sauces I've, I've seen on YouTube and they're absolutely delicious and all that, but I never have all those ingredients here at one time. So um, this is my version of those sauces of ingredients I have on hand most of the time. Even missing one of these ingredients, it's okay, go ahead with it. Still be nice. Throwing off this garlic, paste it up. Then I'm gonna divide it um, in two. And then I'm gonna add chili, peanut butter, and uh, sesame oil, and that's it. These chilies, you keep them in the freezer, eh? Keep them in the freezer, yep. They lose a bit of heat, but that's enough heat. Still got a, still got a kick on it. Just add more. Peel it before you um, put it in the pounder. It'll take ages. Pound it to loosen the skin. Okay, when your um, garlic looks like this, I'll take out about a tablespoon. This will be the kids dipping sauce. Go in with some soy sauce, light soy. And a dash of pepper. If the kids are needing this, I'll put in heaps of pepper, but that'll do it. Sesame oil. And that's our dumpling sauce for the kids. Done, so they can dip their dumplings in this. Nice. Okay. All right, me and wifey's dipping sauce, chilies. That's about heaps. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, well, I'm paste this up and then add some peanut butter. Okay, when it looks like that, add in heap tablespoon of peanut butter. Wow. That's it. I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a drop of sesame oil like the other the sauce, and I'm going to heat up some canola oil and pour it over. Okay, we're going to go on with a tablespoon of this. Last bit of flavor we're going to add, add to this. For the S. <laughs> <laughs> add to the soup. It's, um,. What do you call it? It's more or less re reduced beef stock. And it's heaps of flavor. If you make, ever make your um, soups again, I encourage you to use this. 
Where did you get from? Uh, Asian store. I do a lot of my shopping there. Is it cheap? Cheap as. It costs the same as a jar of uh, Vegemite or Marmite. Oh, yeah. So it's like miso soup, eh? Yeah, kind of like miso. But more um, beef stock. Like someone made a soup, a beef soup, and then let it reduce until it was a paste like this. Yep. Be ready to eat in 10 minutes now. Here we go. Go in with it. First, 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 first. There's about eight tablespoons of oil in this. It'll be good for the next three days. And how do you know how much oil to put in? Is it just how? Yeah, how, 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 how you want it. They um, that's for the sesame oil. So that's it. Okay, going in with the one portion of noodles. I'll just make one bowl for now. Reason why you don't cook the noodles in the soup, it'll make the soup, um, the starch from the noodles will mix into the soup and then it goes kind of slimy. So that's why the noodles are separate from the uh, the soup, the broth. And how do you know when the noodles are ready? So this is boiled water, right? Yep. And the elements on high. Once it um, loosens up, you can kind of, um, you still got to kind of pinch it to cut it and it's done. So do you say like that's like one minute? Yeah. One minute and then out, I'm done. Yeah. Well, this is just one portion. This is what I'll do for the kids, but for myself, <laughs> I'll double up on this or even triple. But yeah, just to show you how uh, awesome these uh, rice noodles are. Okay, I'm gonna put this plate together and everything's ready to go. There's holes in the, in the bottom of this um, plastic bag for the bean sprouts so the water can Flow straight through and you can rinse it that way so everything's ready to go. Mm. And then okay, grab some carrot. Cooked vegetables. Just a little bit because I probably won't eat it all. <laughs> You're better. Just, just vegetables. And beef sprouts at the end, if they want. So I'm just gonna put some hot broth on this and then rinse it. About a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, light soy. You can see that um, bok choy wilting down a bit. It's good. Now I'll just add some herb. Spring onion, Donskis, and some of my kids don't like this, but what I also add is some uh, bean sprout. And I also add, last but not least, squeeze lemon. Now, bean sprouts and lemon, optional, but that's how I would eat that. Absolute deliciousness. Have a taste of this. Man. No words of a lie. Tastes like the restaurant. Mmm. See? You can see the beautiful soup there. Let's do that. Another five times <laughs> for all the kids. Can't wait. Let's go. <clears throat> Finally, time to eat. <laughs> Everyone's been eating uh, for me. It was uh, 
Man. One by one by one by one. Yeah, I think first game one's almost gone. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah. But anyway, I'm going in. I'm starving. Oh yeah. A bit of chicken. Oh, hold on. It's your noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, can you have them down, please? So good, so good. Mmm. Broth is good, flavoring's just right. Pretty nice. Mm. Dumplings. Mm mm mm. Some oh. dumplings, son. Cool down. Now dipping sauce. Dumplings, son. There's a ketchup in sauce. Did you guys try this? Okay. Yeah. Put it down for yourself. Tell us what you think. Okay. Mm. It's good. <laughs> So there you go guys, used up all our ingredients that were lying around in the fridge, stuff back up tomorrow, do our shopping. I use a lot of chicken and pork because it's so accessible. Those meats are like easily accessible, pork, chicken, you can go to my next door neighbour, they'll have a thousand and one recipes for uh, Pork and chicken, so Stop it, baby. that's why we always use a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Oh, Tana likes the hot stuff. <laughs> Wheezy, baby. Is it hot? <laughs> it's pretty hot. Excuse me. <laughs> Didn't miss you, but I just wanted to share one more thing before I. Um, I really make a pick of myself is uh, I'm gonna change the flavor profile of this noodle soup and add some of this right in there. Give it a little mix. That should taste amazing. Amazing. Try this recipe at home. Um, my dad asked me to make a gopo. He just told me to boil some water in a jug, pour it in a pot, and then um, stir it in. I uh, just finished filling the pot up to halfway. I'm just gonna stir in the gopo now. So a funny story about the gopo is that um, we found this brand in the sun dairy food store, I think, and. We, it was really late, so we were just trying to find like any kind of goku. And um, yeah, I came upon it by luck. And that's how I got this nice tasting goku. Okay, it's dessert time. We've got a classic combo here. 
got an apple muffin from Men and Pa. Got our anchor butter and cocoa. And we go. Nice big cup. Nutribullet. <laughs> My sponsor. Um, yeah. It's our little factory line of uh, crackers and butter. We'll play, we're, we're about to play Lummy. Which is what in English? You can call it gin rummy. I don't know how to play gin rummy, but I know how to play Lummy. Mm. Show, us the, show us the crackers. Milo. So that's a mixture of Milo and Goku. I want it to be sweeter. It didn't work last time when I used sugar. It just made it worse. Mm. I think you should make it Goku sweeter. Ugh. You can put a little bit more sugar in if you want it sweeter. That's what I've done and it doesn't even taste like sugar. Wait. That's Go. right. It's got different taste buds. Who does that? No. So it's first, is it me? Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 You only say lummy whenever you got a higher score. Mm. No, Should I throw it away? Okay, lummy. Uh. Yay, games! Unfortunately, you have to throw away the three, but I've still got 500. My turn! No, it's lummy, it's finished. Oh, what a sucks. No, this is a scuffs game. The one time you remember You got 500! Alright. Oh, yeah, the three. Oh, wait, I already knew. Okay, let me just say thank you to all our subscribers that are coming through, um, all the our friends and family, um, even part friends from old friends from years ago who are uh, reaching out. Thanks for subscribing and um, keep supporting our channel. And that's us so far from the Toffers.